So few people talk to me about the $10 million deal that I worked on and they ask me, hey, like I'm talking about students who work with me, they ask me, hey, is it possible for me to work as my first deal on something like that, on a deal like that? And my answer to them is, look, it really depends on where you're at. And, and remember, when there are people who work with me, there are a few people, right? Some of them are like existing business owners with established businesses. I remember this guy who came to me and worked with me. He had a business doing already 30 million a year in sales and he got to there organically just by growing one client at a time. And when we came to me, he's like, look, man, I got this business. I want to grow it and I understand I know how difficult that is to grow one product at a time, one client at a time. I grew it to an amazing place, but now I see the value of going out there and buy other businesses. And I mean, obviously his uh, beginning point is going to be different than someone who's coming to me. And I have those people as well, like, hey man, look, I, I work um, nine to five for someone else for the, basically all of my life. And I want to be an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur in my heart. I want to be a business owner. I want to be a deal maker. I want to be creative. I want to have big ideas, big vision, and I want to do deals. I want to buy businesses. So people who come from this um, beginning point where like they have no business experience whatsoever, can they get to the same results and work on the same deals as my guy who have a 30 million a year business? And the answer for you is yes, but be okay and understand the fact that that person who already have a business doing 30 million years, he start from a different starting point, right? His business experience, the gap, the, the, the things that he probably went through and, and did in his life, I mean, he just got much more experience, much more contact, much more capital to play with. I mean, the deals that he can work on and probably close are going to be much different than someone who have no business experience whatsoever, no contacts, no experience, can this person do amazing deals? Yes, I have people who came to me from this position who bought a seven-figure business in less than a year. And trust me, that's a game changer. That's a life changer for people who have a job, they have a full-time job, and then they now own a multi-million dollar business. They didn't know how to read a P&L or a balance sheet a year ago. Trust me, that's a huge thing that you can do. But never compare yourself, never compare your first step in anything in business to someone 100 step, right? You see what I mean? Like that other guy who have a business doing already 30 million a year in sales, already exists for many years in business, already have so much experience in, in relationships with people, in business experience, in reading numbers and financials, in his network of people, like him alone, like this person who have a business doing 30 million a year, an email to his contacts alone can bring him amazing deal flow. That person who have no experience, who worked in a job all of his life to get to this same type of deal, deal flow that that person have, can he get there? Yes, but it's going to take him just more time to reach out to more people, to talk to more people. This person will need to put in more time and more effort to get the same results that this person is sometimes going to get like this, just because he's been in this game for more time. It's like you can't, if now you, you never played sport in your life and you want to compare yourself to Cristiano Ronaldo or Leo Messi, I mean, you can't do that. Can you be, can you score goals when you play soccer with your friends? Yes, but you comparing yourself right now to Leo Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo, you're just not good comparison because it's not their first step, right? They're playing all of their life and obviously they have talent and all that. Which, and, and, Talent definitely play a role here, but I don't think, especially in the space of business, that talent is that important because in business you can learn everything. In football, for example, or soccer, or whatever you call this in your country, I think you got to born with this somehow, right? You just, I mean, something aligned in the stars and you're born with that talent. Obviously, there's a lot of hard work and commitment, but in business, I really, really believe that everyone can do that. Like, look at me, I, English is not even my first language. And I'm out there talking business, doing business only with English speaking people, right? Where the English is the first language, mostly in the UK, US, Canada, Australia. I mean, they, you have no excuse whatsoever, guys. I don't care where you start right now. You can make it, you can be successful, but you need to be okay with being patient. I mean, heck, even if it's going to take you, people who come to me and work with me, they're like, you know what, Ron, I want to do a deal. I want to buy a business. How much time it's going to take me? What do you think? Based on your experience, what, what kind of results people are getting? And it, does everyone get the results? Well, here's my answer to you. If you're going to be committed and consistent, you'll get the results. And I'll be here to support you thousand percent. 
But if you're going to give up, I can't help you guys. And heck, even if it's going to take you three months, four months, six months, eight months, 12 months to buy one good, established, multi-million dollar business. I'm not talking about building you a business doing five grand a month. I'm talking about buying an existing business that is doing multi-million dollar a year in sales. Isn't it worth it to wait, heck, 12 months? For some of you, isn't it worth it to wait two years, three years, five years? You spent, some of you guys who watch this, those videos, who send me messages, you're anywhere between 25 years old to 40. That's the average. Some of you guys are, are older. Some of you guys are younger. It's all good either way. But you can't come to me um, where you spent whatever years you live in this world, 30 years, and think that you can change yourself in a week. You got to be willing to be committed to the process and be patient. There are so many things you need to learn. There are so many things you need to do and experiment with and fail. Are you going to experiment failures? Even if you're going to work with me as your mentor? Yes, you will. But is it going to be easier for you when you have me watch your back, making sure that you're not making the same mistakes that I did? Heck, trust me, for some of you guys, just learning the mistakes that I made and making sure that you're not making those mistakes, that's going to save you years of your life. I'm talking to you guys like, and that's why I'm so um, open and okay with sharing my mentoring program, because I know that I'm saving you at least 10 years of hustling and working your ass off and saving you mistakes. 10 years. How much 10 years is worth for you? And I'm spending, I'm uh, saving you hundreds of thousands of dollars to pay all the other mentors that I paid for, that you're getting with me, all that knowledge, plus all of the 10 years knowledge of business that I have with actually taking action, going out there, doing deals, failing with deals, making a lot of money, losing a lot of money, plus all of my students' results, experiments, failures, wins, and you get all of this in one place, A to Z. I mean, heck, don't you think that it's going to save you some time when you have something like that? And even if it's going to take you a little bit more than one month or two months or three months to close a deal, isn't it worth it? If, if imagine yourself with me having this conversation six months from today, 12 months from today, and you're now the owner of a multi-million dollar business in whatever sector that you choose that is, is right for you. Just think about it. I mean, for some of you guys, you spent years of your life working for someone else, starting to build businesses, trying to get one client at a time. Some of you guys don't have any business experience. Some of you have a 30 million a year business and you know how difficult it is to reinvent yourself again and again and create new products internally and test things and, and go to manufacturing those products and have manufacturing mistakes. Instead, you can now go and buy existing business that's already established, already did all those tests. Isn't it worth to, to spend some time to have patience to learn that skill set? It's like people who want to work out, right? They want to go, they want to get, get in shape. And I, I like that metaphor so much because everyone can relate to that, right? Everyone care about their health. I hope so for you. And you can't expect to get healthy, to get in shape if you never worked out before. And can you get in shape without help of anyone? Yes, you can, especially now this information is out there. But isn't it going to help you if someone specifically going to tell you, hey, look, this is the amount of calories you need to eat. Those are the macros you need to eat. This is the amount of workouts you need to do. Here's how you work out. Because if you're going to work out in the gym without any, um, I guess, someone watching your back and, and showing you how to do things like a deadlift or squats or bench press the right way, can you eventually find out yourself? Yes, you do. Are you going to make mistakes? Perhaps. I mean, like you can break your back if you're doing deadlift the wrong way, right? So... Can you get to those results on your own eventually? Yes, you can, but it's going to save you so much time to have someone who already been there, done that. And when you're patient and you're okay with the understanding that, you know what? I like the idea of buying businesses. It's exciting. It's fun. It sounds really exciting and fun, which is it. It is, but I'm okay with the fact that I know that I'm going to have some learning curve. I know that I'm going to have some difficulties and challenges and problems. But I'm expecting that and that's part of me saying to myself, you know what? I know it. it's going to be like this, it's going to be sometimes like this, sometimes like this. Sometimes I'm going to close the deal and I'm going to be at a high. Sometimes someone's going to reject my offer and going to tell me no. And I'm okay with either because I'm committed to the journey and I'm committed to the process. And I'm never going to compare myself 
to someone who's been in, the, in business for 20 years. I'm going to compare myself to the version that I was yesterday. Am I better today than I was yesterday? That's the only comparison you should have. And like I said, if you're committed and you understand that there is a process involved in a year from now, if you're actually committed, you actually have the strategy and accountability and support with the right people who actually care, you can get tremendous, amazing results. Literally, within a few months or a year max, you can change your life. You can be a completely different person. And I saw that in, in my own eyes. People who had no experience, who didn't know how to read a balance sheet, now own a multi-million dollar business. And it's exciting to me to, to talk about it because it's I never saw any anything like that that is possible anywhere else in the business world. Can you start a business from scratch and get it to six figures in the first year? Yes, I saw that happens as well. Can you get to seven figure a year in sales with a new business? I don't know many people who do that in their first year. Very, very difficult. And even if you get there, it's usually in sales. And the first year is very, very expensive. I'm not even talking about expenses or, or mistakes that you're making. But to buy an existing business that's already making a lot of money that you can go to and learn from a business owner, from a baby boomer, you can learn from someone who's 60, 70, 80 years old who just want to retire and is willing to give you all of his life lessons to you on a silver plate. Literally, just imagine how much you can learn, how much you can learn about business just from talking to those business owners. You know what? You have no business experience. I'm telling you, within one month or two months of you talking to many business owners who are looking to sell their businesses or open to the idea that are, they're older, they're looking to retire, there are baby boomers, many of them. Just by having those conversations with them, you're going to learn more about business than anyone out there who's trying to start new businesses again and again in whatever sector you think of. Because you can literally decide with yourself, you know what? This is my path. I want to buy a business. I want to buy a business in X sector, engineering business. If you know how to position yourself right and you know how to access those business owners, you can now learn about those business, those engineering businesses like, any, like nothing else. Because imagine, just think about who the business owner will share as much information with if not someone is looking to buy the business from him. If you know how to position yourself right again, he will literally sell himself to you and beg you to buy his business from him because he want to retire, he want to go out there or whatever. There are other ways for him to sell the business, right? But just one of the great examples that everyone understands is they want to retire. He will share everything and he will show you why his business is that good. He will share with you his marketing processes, his sales processes, his operations, his financials, everything. He'll show you how he's getting clients, how he's treating clients, how he's uh, keeping clients, lifetime values, increasing those things, everything. Imagine how much you can learn about business just by taking those actions. That alone, if there's something you can take from this video, is this, how much you can learn from just putting yourself out there or someone looking to buy a business. And combine that with patience and the understanding that you should never compare yourself to someone else. Never do that. And you'll see, you'll, you'll get not just results, but fulfillment. Because you understand, you know what? I'm not better or worse than anyone else. I'm just at a different point in the scale right now. In their, like I have the graph, I'm here. Those people with the $30 million a year, can I get there? Yes, I am, absolutely. But I understand it's going to take me some time and perhaps it's going to take me more time to find a good deal than that person who can literally just send a message, a text message to all of his network asking if someone's looking to sell the business and people will throw deals on him. Like at my stage, like right now, I'm getting so much deal opportunities because I've been out there in the field for a long time and I'm getting amazing opportunities. Was it like that in the beginning? No, I hustled my way. I had sometimes, like I remember days where I had like 20 calls with business owners and I'm not talking cold calls. I'm talking calls of people who scheduled calls to be on my calendar after the initial screening after the front end of sending whatever ways that you get in touch with them, sending letters, cold calls. We have 10 different ways to get in touch with those business owners. That's just one way. I'm talking after the first screening, having 10, 20 calls every single day with business owners, hustling my way to find those good deals, hustling, working so hard, but never comparing myself to someone who is 10, 20 years ahead of me. Why? Because as long as I know that I did my best, that I do today more than I did yesterday, and I can be happy with myself. And if you'll get to that point, I'm telling you, you'll get results faster than you think. 
And right now I'm at a point and people see me as the authority in this field. Why? Because I've been working harder than anyone else. I'll take, give me anyone that you want. I don't care who you show me. Someone with perhaps more experience than me, someone who's been out there uh, more years than me, but they'll never work hard as me. No one. And I'm working hard not because I have to, but because I love it. Why? Because I love the, the results that I'm getting. I love the impact that I'm getting. And I like the fulfillment of me getting the most out of myself as a person that I can be. Because I know that I won't be able to look myself in the mirror when I'm about to die knowing that I could have been better. And that's what I want for you guys. And you'll see, if you'll be committed to this journey, this journey, if it's buying businesses or anything, you'll get results faster than anyone thought it's possible. And people will then look at you and say, dude, how, how you grew so fast? Like, I remember you two years ago and you were like a completely different person. Perhaps, but they don't know what you had what you've been through. They don't know how much hard you work. They don't know the weekends that you've been through. And that's what I want for you guys. Work hard, put the time, put the effort, have the right strategy, have the right accountability, have the right support, but have patience, guys. Don't believe in the get rich quick thing. I don't believe in it at all. Is it easy to buy businesses? Not at all, guys. It's not easy. Is it simple? Hell yes. It's freaking simple. If you have the right strategy, the right support, the right accountability, and you, your patience. So, I hope that giving you some perspective on what to expect in this space, guys. I don't want, I just hate to see people who come with huge expectations and then give up after a week or two. Why? Because they thought they're going to be a billionaire in a week. But remember, guys, you live for 20, 30, 40 years, 50 years, some of you guys. And you never made more than 50,000 a year, 100,000 a year, 300,000 a year. And now you're expecting to make a million dollar in a week of work just by watching some of my videos and you, some of you guys are not even taking action. You're just watching my videos and just sitting and you're expecting to be a billionaire within a week when all of your life you made what 50 grand a year. You see how it, it just you, you're not understanding reality, guys. Just be re realistic. I, I don't like realistic, but I think you need to be you need to understand realistic on where you at and really understand, OK, this is my situation and be OK with that. And you need to have amazing goals. But don't be del delusional in, in, in a way that just uh, stopping you from taking action. I hope that makes sense because people are like, you know what? I have my affirmations. I want to be a billionaire tomorrow. But they're, they're, taking, they're taking no actions. Or if they're taking action, trust me, th those actions don't represent any billionaire that I know. If you'll see billionaires, and I met a few of them, they're working harder than anyone else. I'm talking to you people who sleep three, four hours a night. Is it the best thing to do? Is it what... Personally, I want to do, I don't think so. At least at this stage, I just, I need my six, seven hours a night. But you can't expect to have a billionaire goals with a broke person actions. So I'll end up with that, guys. Remember, never compare yourself. Never judge yourself by someone else's results. Always compare yourself to yesterday and be patient and take action. I'm telling you, you can change your life very fast. One year will go by like this. But what do we do every single day in that year? This is what, this what will determine what kind of results you're getting. So I hope, guys, you got some value from it. If you want to learn more about the strategy, the process, the A to Z understanding of how to buy businesses right now, in 2018, 2019 almost, not things that worked 20, 30 years ago. Right now, on deals we're working right now, what's working right now, we're going to put some links below this video on some more free training. So go and check it out and subscribe on all the channels. Help. It really, really helped me share it with friends um, who you think can get some value from this video. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and got some value and I'll see you soon.